Alright, hey guys, it's Ryan from Arcade's app, I touch help, and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak a first generation iPod using the program QuickPong. Okay, um, just to be advised, I am using a, um, well here, I'm using a first gen, this is not fake, you see how thick that is? Okay, and, uh, just to warn you, the firmware on the iPod I'm using is 2.2.1, so I'm not completely sure if this works with any other firmwares, I would imagine it would, but, uh, just in case, I'm just warning you. Okay, so you guys may want to get the download from the description, which is the QuickPone program, which you need to use to jailbreak your iPod Touch. Alright, and um, you're going to want to extract the fo files from the zip folder, because it will be a zip folder. Okay, and you're going to open up that folder, and you should get this, a uh, pineapple and a readme. Okay, don't even bother clicking on readme. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff. It doesn't even give you directions or anything, okay? And besides, I'm telling you what to do right here. Alright, so just go ahead and click on the pineapple, where it says QuickPone. Hit run. Alright guys. Let me set my camera down. Let's see. Okay, uh, hit OK. Click the arrow. As soon as your iPod is connected to your uh, USB. Okay. And hit the next. As I said. Alright, and uh, this part can be tricky for some people guys. It's going to take you to this screen and it's going to locate the firmware. Alright, and it's going to say the correct ISPW will have a file name again with iPod, whatever it says, okay? Um, it should appear automatically, but if it does not, guys, I have posted a um, download link to this firmware in the description, okay? So go ahead and get that if it doesn't appear for you automatically. Or you can restore your iPod, but it's a lot easier just to get that and then browse for it. Okay, so once you have that, guys, go ahead and click the next button. Alright, you have all these things. Go ahead and uh, stuff whatever you want. I'm only concerned about Ad Cydia and Installer, but you can replace the Google Go if you would like. Okay, as soon as you have what you want, click Next. Okay. It's going to give you this. Please ensure your device is connected via USB before continuing. Okay, guys, um, you're going to want to have your iPod in your hand and then you click the Next button because it's going to give you to a series of steps you need to perform. Okay. Uh, you have like five seconds and it's going to tell you what to do and you're just going to follow the directions. So click the blue arrow as soon as it's connected and you have it in your hand. Alright, and you'll see it says wait for your app to connect in recovery mode. Alright, and then it says hold on the home button for five seconds. As soon as it goes there, right now, hold it down. Now hold down what it's doing. Okay, so you're doing this on your iPod as it's telling you to do. So I'll release the power button and continue to hold the home button for 24 seconds as I'm doing. Alright, so just continue to hold on to that home button. You'll notice you might get some pop-ups saying found new hardware, as I just did. Alright, so... So now you can let go as soon as it gets to that final step. Alright, you should have a white screen. On the iPod, it should say uploading, exploit, bootloader. Alright, so just let that loading bar go. Uploading image. Alright, uh, it's, this is basically all it's doing. Say look at this. Your iPod should be doing that. Downloading jailbreaking data. Okay. So if you're on this track, it's going all good. Alright, this is actually my first time doing it, guys. This, I'm sure it is with you if you're watching this video. So if I made any mistakes, just uh, bear with me here. Alright. Um, let's see how long this is going to take. Alright guys, uploading device, please see it's just going on forever. Okay, I don't believe it's going to take that long, but um, anyways, I'm just going to come back when this is finished guys. Oh, I guess it's already going, okay, uh, it's finished. Am I that? Uh, let's see what the iPod does. Uh, you see that spinning? It's respringing I guess, or rebooting rather. And you should have this. I'm glad I didn't turn it off then. Alright, you should have the running pineapple, and you should have loading bar, okay? It's, uh, it's rebooting, so, 
once this finishes guys we should be okay all right now I'm gonna come back when this is finished all right all right guys um, mine should be finishing up here all right you see it's rebooting now wait for it to boot up as it normally does I don't think this is going to take very long unless it's a major reboot. It should be just your average reboot, but let's see what's going on. You should hear a bunch of chimes going on, on your computer. It's detecting it, and uh, let's see if this works, guys. Uh, okay, nothing has changed. Slide to unlock, and you should have Cydia and Installer. All right, that's simple. Uh, excuse the brightness. I didn't plan to show my iPad, but right there, to bottom. Okay, so I hope this helped you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, just come back to us for more videos, guys. So, there you go. Thanks.